stand, honored inductees, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Sheets, I want to thank you tonight for having the opportunity to follow Tom Irvin, Dave Robinson, Reg Halleck, Chuck Knox. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Steve, good luck. I also want to know, earlier I was told that you had to have a tux. I called last week to check to make sure because, you know, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. <laughs> Steve asked me if I would not go too far on Wade's accomplishments and but describe his character, the type of person, some funny characters maybe somewhere along the line. I think I best by starting that he's been described as amazing, wondrous, showman, egotistical, flamboyant. Douglas Looney. Sports Illustrated, then with National Observer, and I quote, unpredictable, flamboyant, with a gambling sort of wrestling style, and quick to shoot from the lip. <laughs> News writers and sportscasters loved him. He was so humble. <laughs> and I quote, I'd say there are five or six guys who could beat me but they won't. <laughs> they get scared when they have to wrestle me. Now you know where Muhammad Ali got a lot of his material. <laughs> Herman Weisskopf, also Sports Illustrated, said, he is a co college wrestling's most creative and dazzling performer. His success, success stems largely from his plastic body which he can contort into pretzel shapes while still retaining his gyroscopic balance and on candy leverage, for whatever that means. <laughs> I was a smart coach. Wade had a certain ability, and I think the coaches up here tonight would agree with me. When you've got it, you don't mess with it. I got him up in the morning, I made sure he was fed. I shook his hand, maybe kicked him in the butt now and then, and sent him on the mat. I've been asked to talk about, if I would tonight, the famous X on the mat situation from my side. Now, I share a philosophy with Mr. Paterno that you say only good things about your opponents. I don't care if they're 0 and 36. They're very capable of beating you. They have this outstanding athlete and that outstanding athlete and so forth. Their way and I at times would get a little trouble with his humility. He had 106 falls and the night of his famous 100th uh, pin was against Lock Haven University. And he went out prior to the meet and known only to the student body at Clarion University and his fraternity brothers, placed a taped X on the mat. I did not know about this. In fact, it took me about a year before they, anybody felt that I should know. And it, during the course of the match, he hooked up a cradle, but on the opposite side of the X. And I thought it somewhat odd that he's inching this Lock Haven athlete across the mat. In the meantime, the roar from the student body, I thought, boy, that's nice. Um, they're getting into the match and hoping Wade wins this 100th by a fall. So he takes him all the way over until that X, and he pinned him for his 100th win, or 100th fall. My father used to say, and it's an often used cliche, go this, you go this way but once, make the best of it. There are many athletes who come through athletics that leave a positive influence. Unfortunately, lately, we read about a lot about the ne negative. But certain athletes leave a mark 
that will be recorded, remembered, and will stand the test of time. Such is the gentleman that you honor tonight. In the world of amateur wrestling, one who has left a mark in a positive manner is your nomination to the Blair County Sports Hall of Fame. And it was with great pleasure that I present to you inductee Wade Schultz.